Since the AIDS epidemic began nearly 30 years ago, scientists have been searching for a vaginal microbicide that women could use to protect them from HIV. Now, South African scientists Salim and Quraisha Abdul Karim say clinical trials on almost 900 South African women show great promise. Quraisha spoke with VOA about the study's findings. What we found in the study was that women who were assigned to the Tenofova gel arm had 39% protection against getting infected compared to the placebo group. Those women who used the gel more than 80% of the time when they had sex, as we advised them to, had 54% protection. So that's quite a powerful effect. The new gel contains tenofovir, an antiretroviral drug that prevents HIV from growing in human cells. Dr. Abdul Karim said the studies are proof a gel can work, but more trials are needed before this gel can come to market. The hope is it will be available within two to three years. UNAIDS Executive Director Michel Sidibe is among the AIDS activists and experts celebrating the news. First, let us say that we need to celebrate. In the 30 years of fighting HIV AIDS is the first time that we can talk about prevention and revolution. More than 33 million people worldwide are infected with the HIV virus. About half are women. In Africa, women and girls represent more than 60 percent of new HIV infections. The gel is applied up to 12 hours before sexual intercourse and a second time as soon as possible within 12 hours afterwards. Sidibe says its simplicity will be the key to its appeal and effectiveness. This uh, simplification is uh, the revolution part and you know I call for uh, prevention and revolution and I am so convinced that uh, to fight this epidemic we need uh, prevention, prevention and prevention. Dr. Abdul Karim says much work remains before the gel gets to women around the world. Now we got to work on what's the next steps. The next step is how do we get this into women's hands, what is the next set of studies we need to be doing to get, that, get us closer to that. So until it is in women's hands, our jobs are not done, and until we've eradicated virus uh, in this world, we have lots to do. Margaret Bashir, VOA News, Vienna.